I'm asking you, okay? I'm not gonna give my opinion. Of course, my opinion is obvious, but I'm not gonna give it right now. I'm asking you guys, when was the last time that you saw a woman special forces operator? When was it? What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another video. And there are rumors about the next Battlefield game that may or may not be true. But if true, we really need to be concerned this time. And I really mean it when I say it, because it really says a lot of things about the current situation of DICE and their thought process. And this leak, you may have heard about it. It was posted on a subreddit for gaming leaks and rumors, and it is titled as Casting Call for Battlefield 7. The project name, or let's say the code name for this, is Timeless Fields, which I have absolutely zero idea how I can somehow interpret this into a Battlefield thing, like a code name for the next Battlefield game. The only thing it has in common with Battlefield is the actual word field. But I really thought about this and I couldn't figure out anything about this code name. If you have like a suggestion or you can think of something that is somehow related to this code name, go down in the comment section and let me know because I have no idea. But the storyline of this timeless fields is an action-adventure, military-themed game. Which, as we all know, Battlefield is an action game, but it was never an adventure game and it will never be. So what EA is actually trying to do is hiring someone for a role in the campaign of the next Battlefield game, because we do know for a fact that the next Battlefield game will have a storyline, a single-player campaign. Because Battlefield itself is not an action-adventure game, and people were worried about this casting call being an actual sign of having specialists or special operators in the next Battlefield game, which I do not think is the case here. However, there are really concerning aspects of this casting call uh, that we are going to get into because there is more to it. The characteristics and features of this character are really interesting and tells us a lot of things about EA and DICE and what they actually think about the next Battlefield game inside. So we are going to talk about these things because I did not read a very important part of this casting call for you and we are going to do that in just a few seconds. But before that, if you enjoyed the content, if you're looking for a channel that's always updated on Battlefield news, this channel is the place for you. So consider subscribing to the channel and it only takes one click and you won't miss out on the future videos and the news around the next Battlefield game. So let me read this part real quick for you and then we're going to come back and talk about each part of it one by one to see what the hell is going on in DICE and EA. This character is called Rosunda. They need a 25 to 35 year old Slavic woman with authentic Croatian, Bosnian or Serbian accent. Special Forces Operator Rosunda was always the outcast as the child of two different ethnic backgrounds in Croatia, a tactician of remarkable mental and physical courage. She commands respect and attention, can be impatient and despises weakness, fit, athletic, and able to move with a prop weapon easily. And what they require is she must be able to speak Croatian and or Bosnian and or Serbian. So one of these meaning that they have not chosen anything, like any one of these accents, and they're waiting for the nominees to show up and then choose the best from them and then like uh, create everything around that accent. So that's probably what they're doing. But there are very concerning things going on in here. First of all, this is just a rumor, okay? It's not even a leak, it's some kind of a rumor. You might want to take it with a pinch of salt, but I'm going to tell you one thing, okay? First of all, most of the rumors around all the Battlefield games have always been true. Like most of the times, they've been relatively accurate, okay? That's one thing to consider. But another thing to consider is this rumor in and out itself isn't something so important for someone going out of their way to make something like this up, you know? It's not really worth it. So in my opinion, this is more likely legit than something like made up. That's what I really think. But regardless of that, let's take a look at this. So first of all, this woman is going to be a special forces operator. This part itself demonstrates two very important things about EA and DICE and what they think about the next Battlefield game and what's going on inside. First of all, these people have no idea who special forces are. They literally don't know anything about them 
Because throwing a woman just like that as a special forces operator is just nowhere near, even near something real. I'm asking you, okay? I'm not gonna give my opinion. Of course, my opinion is obvious, but I'm not gonna give it right now. I'm asking you guys, when was the last time that you saw a woman special forces operator? When was it? Let me tell you my own experience. Every single short that I see on YouTube, every single reel I see on Instagram, all the special forces operators are men. That is literally just common sense, okay? So these guys are exactly doing the opposite of this. You guys probably remember uh, like Battlefield 4 story, right? She was just someone fighting for her country, okay? She wasn't so bold and all. But something that really concerns me this time is the correlation between this Rosunda character and the woman that was a part of the teaser trailer for Battlefield 5. It really concerns me in that regard because a casting call like this is often for the, like, the protagonist or the main character, let's say. It's usually not for a side character that has no impact in the game. So these guys are trying to demonstrate what they've already demonstrated in the Battlefield 5 teaser trailer, and it was just not good. Not good at all. And they came up with what? If you don't like having a woman in a game, don't buy it. That's what they came up with, to like fix their own mess. And it tells us that people in EA and DICE are literally unaware of what is going on around them in the real world and in real time in 2024. As a small example, I'm just gonna uh, pass this one real quick because I don't want this video to get cancelled like all the people who you probably know. But in real life, we have a war going on right now in Europe, Russia versus Ukraine. You guys tell me the amount of Ukrainian women fighting as special forces operators or fighting as normal soldiers. You tell me. As long as I'm concerned, they're in Poland and Dubai living their lives. And I'm just going to leave it at that and move on, okay? She commands respect and attention. Here's another one. It is very hard for a human being to command both of these at the same time respect and attention because you literally can only choose one if you're going down the route being hungry for attention you would most likely lose the respect of people for all the attention you command if you command respect you don't get that kind of attention that people actually lose respect for you you get the right attention right kind of attention so this is again another thing about this character that kind of puzzles me let's say she's impatient and despises weakness so we are literally dealing with a hot-headed, impatience, and arrogant character who wouldn't be liked by a big portion of the fans, in my opinion. It's just something that I believe will happen, except for one scenario. And that scenario is this character actually being the antagonist of the story. If she's the antagonist, then some parts of her character might sound fair. But I would still say that this character is most likely the protagonist of the next Battlefield game's story campaign. I don't know. This is just about, like, guessing, okay? It's really about just guessing right now. This rumor might not even be legit. We talk about what we know right now, and this is what we know. The only part that, in my opinion, is somehow logical, and I would say it relatively makes sense, is that they need a character to be fit, athletic, and able to move with a prop weapon easily. I mean, <laughs> let's be honest about this. The icing on the cake for this application would be this character being a supporter of body positivity movement. Like, come on, man. I just can't imagine a special force operator not being fit, athletic, and being able to move easily with a prop weapon. So thank God that these guys still have some logic in them. At least they are not going to grab someone overweight and just give her a weapon and call it a day. At least, at least we're not that far down. But again, if I want to wrap everything up, I would say that this character is for the campaign part of the next Battlefield game. I do not believe that they need all this, like, details and stuff for a specialist because that's just not logical and it doesn't make sense. However, I do believe this character can be either a protagonist or an antagonist. And if she is actually the protagonist of the game, this is just ridiculous. And it's messed up, believe it or not. It is messed up. If she's the antagonist, then we might be able to make some sense of it about her character. Not the, not, not the fact that she's a special forces operator, because that literally doesn't exist. And if it does, it's a very, very small portion 
of these special forces operators. Probably 1-2%, to maybe even less. And yeah, I wouldn't be worried about specialists based on this. Based on this, I wouldn't be worried about it. But I would still say that these guys might actually consider bringing other specialists in the game for the next battlefield. Because, I don't know, I just can't trust DICE with this. I really can't. But one thing I'm sure about, these guys should not repeat the mistakes from the teaser trailer of Battlefield 5. Because I've always said it, and I'll say it again, Battlefield is in a very sensitive state right now. Every single mistake in any part of teasing the next Battlefield game, developing it, the live service, anything, any mistake, like the smallest of mistakes, can actually be disastrous. And the next Battlefield game, from teaser trailer to the actual game to the beta, everything should be literally perfect to be able to save the Battlefield franchise from dying. It should be perfect. Otherwise, this franchise is screwed and... I'll tell you guys, we will only have two choices going back to Battlefield 1 and previous Battlefields or just leave this IP alone and like play something else. The next Battlefield game should deliver. Not for EA nor for DICE. There is no other way around it. They should deliver a solid Battlefield game. Otherwise, we're all screwed. Go down in the comment section and let me know what you think about all this. From having a woman special forces operator to having an arrogant character like this being the antagonist or the protagonist. I just want to know what you think. I want to know the thoughts of Battlefield community about this. Maybe I'm wrong, but I just said what I believe is true and we're going to see what you think. So yeah, with all that said, it's time to end this video. Thank you all guys for watching and hope you enjoyed. Until next time, guys, stay cool.